good morning guys good morning welcome back to my channel my name is Jairo and I make travel vlogs and walk videos now today I am back here as you can see at the Arikok National Park where I'll be taking you guys to explore the Arikok Kunuko the Kunuko house the Kunuko area of this national park let's go <laughs> let me explain before we continue the visitor center is over there and you take the route here so you can ask for a map at the visitor center after you pay your fee your entrance fee and everything and they'll give you a map so you know your hiking trail to the park sorry to the kunuku and which is this one Part of what you see here is the uh, district of uh, Santa Cruz, more or less. And you can see the Hoiberg, uh, let's see, way back there. And let's see, the port, the cargo port is over there. And the I can see a cruise ship. You could probably not see it, but I can see a cruise ship from here. I do not see the airport, but I do see the sun has risen, has come out, and it was actually a somewhat of a cloudy day uh, to begin with. I think I even saw some very light rain, but right now it's getting hot already. So I'm keep moving on and walking through these beautiful, beautiful cactuses here it's uh normally i would come a little bit earlier by the way you can see a nest up there right and um there are markings for the hiking trail and uh yeah i would normally come uh, a lot earlier maybe 6 30 7 but uh the lighting in uh this period for the video i think Right now it's around eight o'clock, I do believe. And so I do believe that at this time I can do a better job visually with this video. some really high really high cactus oh we have just arrived at the entrance of the kunuku arikok this kunuku is basically a representation let me put it in the sunlight the representation of how in the old times the locals used to live from the land so they cultivated uh, whatever they needed for uh, food consumption and such. I also want to just briefly talk about this. Now this is the tranchi, what we call a tranchi, or maybe in English you would say tranchi, I don't know. But it was built like a stone wall, more or less from rocks from the nature so a lot of 
houses, older houses and houses in uh, the Kunuku, which is a, let me put this one. So they build their uh, walls around the houses with these tranchi. By the way, the blue is the metal hiking trail, so that's like, it's not the easiest one. It's like in the middle, it's not the hardest hike. But if you do have problems, say with your knees or you have problems walking, it might be a little bit difficult, but difficult, <laughs> but not all that bad. So we're starting to see some names. So aloe here in Aruba is super, super common to find it. Now this one is called Boneiro. I do believe it refers to this tree which I, I honestly, I did not know there was one named Bonero. And Bonero, by the way, uh, is the name of one of the ABC islands. We write it like that, basically. But it's the island of Bonaire, if you already guessed it. And yeah, what can I say? It's, it does seem dry right now. We are pretty deep into the dry season, so that's probably the reason usually when the rain comes back usually most of the plants most of the trees do revive they, they do recover for a few months and then they'll go back in this in these uh stages of where they seem like they're they're basically dead right now it's super hot already but I don't think this hike is very very long from the what is it the entrance to this part is probably like a 15 minutes uh, I didn't even walk too fast in the hike all that fast so it's very doable if you want to take a short hike from the center the visitor center and not do the, the long hikes this is probably the one that I would recommend compared to the other ones that might take a couple of hours for you to reach the beaches and other areas. Now I've started to notice a few, we call them, I don't know, we call them uh, Piedra de Cristal, so some white crystal stones. Let me check these out. There are a few of them in this area. Right, let me see if I can get closer to... I think this one is gonna be the easiest one. But that, that one is definitely the, the biggest one. But it's so, it's so, whoa. It's so incredibly strange to find them here. But, but in the past, there, you know, was a, uh, how do you say it? A, what we call a Cero de Cristal, where I do believe many, many, a great many of them were found. But unfortunately, they took them away and now very few remain in the nature so here at the park is one of the very few places that you can find them in uh, such sizes i wanted to 
briefly show you guys uh, something. Now, th this is built, the, remember the, the name, the tranches? Now, why are these stones thrown like this? You would think, well, someone throw them here. Probably it's the goats that roam around the island. They try to come from the hills and then they'll jump. They'll start jumping and because it's many of them, oftentimes they'll uh, let them fall. So you would have to put your tranche back up or you would have to nowadays they'll put like, this one doesn't have it, but they'll put some cement on the top to hold it. See, this one has fallen also, no big deal. And there are some large stones, large boulders here. Uh, throughout the Aruban landscape, tonalite rocks like these are found and they seem to have fallen out of the blue, out of nothing. And um, nothing less is true though. The tonalite is an ingenious rock that is formed by the cooling and hardening of magma, so the, the volcano and these rocks were pushed up from the deep within a volcanic fold in the earth. Subsequently, water, wind and sun formed this rock into its present formation. And in case you, you think I'm really smart, I just read it. You get a book like this with information of the Kunuku Arikok. So a lot of the information I do have is from this booklet that is very nice by the way. Wow, look at the blue aqua green lizard. I believe that one we call it Kododo. But they get so shy. I think they're beautiful. I think they're super, super nice. I'm gonna try to get close. Well, this is the main path of the Kunuku. Whenever we see a sign like this, it's a pretty important one. And the reason is that those signs indicate that there are old Indian drawings, old Indian paintings in uh, this area. So uh, we're going to check them out. And I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't remember coming here and checking this one out. Maybe I have many years ago and I don't remember, but I'm especially here for this one. So after checking out those drawings, those amazing looking drawings, I found them really, really nice. I don't know if via video you can really show how nice they are. It's a little bit dark, so I had to use the other camera I have. So I hope the shots came out okay. Now, I just met a few uh, people that watch my videos. I've been talking with them for a while and they told me to continue this route and heading to the Cas de Torto, which is the, uh, I'll check the English translation for it and I'll put it somewhere down here. And I'm a little bit out of breath, but uh, it's still 
so beautiful and peaceful out here. I can still hear so many birds and it's so so quiet. Now, since I've shown you guys the stone wall, I'm also showing you this one. So, some walls are built from these cactuses. They'll cut the ones that are high and stick them to the ground and make them like this. Now, the reason, the reason being that, remember that I talked about the goats, uh, crossing over the, the stone walls these they cannot do it because of that so they'll probably stay out of those and try to jump over here now we have arrived at this kunuku and this is the kunuku house the adobe that's the name i was looking for adobe house Cast the torto. Wow, so beautiful. So incredibly beautiful. Now the reason I just showed you is that part of the, uh, how do you say it, the, the, where they cook is this one. Now I don't know the English terms for it. I didn't even notice. I was in danger. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even see them somehow. I'm gonna try to get inside. Let's see if we can. We actually can. Whoa, what's in here? about 510 I do believe and I can almost barely get in here and look at the door I would hit my head every time whoa there is a bat in here are you kidding me can you guys see it it's up there <laughs> I didn't expect that You see it hanging from up there it probably didn't expect me in here <laughs> so this is from the inside now this house has been restored so it's not like this one has been used for all that long and the story goes that it was owned by a Dutch uh, what is it a Dutchman so the Kunuka Arikak was used as a goat farm and originally owned by a Dutchman named Ari Kok Kok the last name so from there the name Arikok, Arikok National Park. For many years, many locals used to think that Arikok, the name Arikok, is probably an uh, Indian name, an old Indian word. 
but now we know that it's not. <laughs> this is the back side of the house and I wanted to show you it because you can see part of the roof and the construction on this side. This is also, how would I say it, a very important part of this park and this kunuku. That's a big crystal stone, isn't it? As you may have noticed, inside the house there, there was no bathroom. So the bathrooms are made here on the outside of the houses years ago. That's the norm. You can still find a few of them uh, with this. Let's see if this one is rebuilt. It is not. I don't know if you can see anything in there. But the bathroom used to be outside. And then maybe this one is just somewhere to put maybe put things in there. I don't know. I don't even know what, but things that they may need to do the land stuff. Now this is a tamarind tree, tamarind tree. Tamarindis indica. And it actually does have I'm not gonna get it and eat it because I always believe that oh it's still sunny. Uh, I always believe that you should leave those for the birds and stuff or the lizards. I don't know if the birds eat tamarind but maybe it falls on the ground and other uh, animals, other, other insects might eat it. So preferably not to take it away. You could buy it. They can't. They live here so the, the little that does grow here, let's keep it that way. So guys, we have reached the end of this episode. I hope you liked it. I wanted to give you an alternative uh, hiking route and it's actually not too bad. I think you could definitely do it in less than an hour. You come to the entrance of the park, pay your fee, come do this hike, learn a little bit about Aruba as we did already, see it in person, because in person you will definitely see and, and listen to the birds and among other things. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get them on camera because they fly away very quickly. <laughs> So it's, that is very challenging for me, even if I, I do have other cameras. But it's definitely a lot nicer in person. And today was a very, very nice day. It seems like it's gonna rain a little though, so I have to watch out, but I do have a roof. Anyway, remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like this video, so I know you like this content and share it with your friends, your contacts, and nothing further. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm gonna get something to drink, by the way. I do have water, but I want some sugar. <laughs>